Good morning, Mr. True here, and I'm going to play through the essential jazz set grooves um, that you have on the screen. Hopefully, if you click next to the video on the name Essential Jazz Set Grooves, it will um, pull up a PDF of the music, and you can follow along. And uh, number one is just a real basic uh, jazz feel. Doesn't have even doesn't even have the eighth swing, uh, the eighth note swing feel, but uh, just get you kind of just playing. Uh, quarter note groove with the left foot on the hi hat. So uh, number one sounds like this. Let's get right to the rhythms here. Number one sounds like this. So the hi hat is on two and four. And then in number two we have uh, in the ride we have the triplet feel, which is what the swing is based off of. Number two sounds like this. If you take out the middle, if you take out the middle eighth note of the triplet, you will end up with the outer two uh, eighth notes, which sounds like this. And that's what number three is. Number three is a notated version of that. It sounds like this. repeating all these one measure exercises. Just repeat them over and over again. Number four is written out like normal swing eights. They look like straight eighth notes, but they are, um, it'll be indicated above the music. It'll say swing eighth note, and you will play, you will play measure four like number three. It sounds like this. Again, number four will sound like number three. you add a block cross stick or a I call it block um, on the snare where you turn the stick around you use the butt end of the stick you get a block sound like that sound like this is number five number six we're going to block on two and on four Seven, we're going to uh, play a block on the and of two with the swing eight, and then we'll play on the four, and that sounds like this. This one you may have to slow down pretty uh, uh, a lot, and then speed it up as you get as you get the feel of the offbeat snare block. I took out the swing eights on beat two, and that is for really fast jazz tunes. You can just play three quarter notes on the ride, and then the swing eights on beat four. And I'll play it slow at first, and then I'll kind of I'll play it at a faster tempo. Here would be at a faster tempo. causes this hand to not get so taxed or tired from doing constant swing. You can do three quarter notes and then uh, the swing feel on beat four. Number nine has, uh, number nine and ten is one figure together. And number nine has the uh, cross stick on the and of two, on the end of four. Number ten, it's on the and of two. And then on beat four, we have the cross stick on beat four of measure ten. So nine and ten sounds like this. switch the roles of the cross stick on, on number 11, it'll be on beat 2 and on the end of 4. So it sounds like this. And really number 11 is uh, the exact opposite of number 7. Just kind of playing around with the rhythm. Number 12, we're going to add a little bit of bass drum. Just a light bass drum. And if you take, uh, take the snare out, um, and the hi-hat out, you just have this for bass and, and ride, you have this. And again, you don't want to head
heavy rock feel. You don't want a heavy bass drum on jazz. You just want a light tapping, keep the quarter note going. Then you can add the snare on the uh, and of two and on four. And then you can add, also have the hi hat. Okay. And I'll start out with just the cymbals, and then I'll add the snare, and then I'll add the bass to that. snares on two and four, so a little bit more of a heavier backbeat then, uh, backbeat feel. And actually for 13, I'll turn around, I'll play the snare uh, with the tip of the stick, um, and it'll sound like this, number 13. And actually on number 13, on beat two, I started to play what number 14 sounds like, and that's kind of a shuffle feel where you play the snare with the ride on the on the two up and the four, so like, and you kind of get a little ghost note um, on the ands. So you want the heavy two and the four, and then follow it with a little ghost note. Okay, and fourteen sounds like this. And actually, some uh, some. Uh, I'm not tripping over my tongue here. Some blues players will actually play a lot more snare than that. And that's a little bit more challenging because you're doing a lot more swing with both hands. Um, and I kind of struggled with it there just a little bit. But if you practice these things at a slower tempo and then speed them up, you'll be uh, you'll be swinging and. and playing great jazz.